Hi, I'm Brett. This is another one of our video updates on what you need to look for when you're doing an engine rebuild. In the next five minutes, we're going to talk about the EJ207 engine. That's the 2-litre STI forged piston factory engine. Typically come out in the 0102 model cars here in Australia, but was pretty common in um, Japan. Later on, Subaru went to a, a non-forged hypotectic piston. Um, in the uh, 2.5. So here we have the block assembly. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll talk about what we started with and effectively what we've started with so I can show you the difference is this uh, client brought his GC8, a 99 model WRX, rotated turbo, whole heap of other parts, mechanical problems with his engine, pulled the engine apart. This is what we found. Now actually what it is, it's a 2.5 litre non-turbo uh, engine that's then been uh, modified with rotated turbo but you also see someone has done a early which was quite common many 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 years ago a reinforcement in the uh, water jacket to stiffen up the galleries because in the old days before we had turbo 2.5s it was quite common to run a 2.5 litre engine out of the non-turbo early model impressors I'm talking before the year 2000 and then turbocharge them but the problem is those engines don't have semi-closed deck design. They have very, very weak liners in the way they connect with the outer part of the assembly around the water jacket. So, and they also have probably not the best bearing design um, because they're never designed to be turbocharged. So what people used to do was do this reinforcement dowels in here to try and strengthen up the uh, cylinder liners, um, but never quite as much as what we do these days. So of course this engine then, it's just honestly, it's just not wasn't worth rebuilding. So the client opted for a tougher engine package and this is what we've got. So we've started with a brand new uh, crate engine from Subaru, which is the EJ207, as I said earlier, STI. Now that engine comes with forged factory standard pistons, heavy duty rods, really good crankshaft. But of course the client wanted to go for the um, improved durability um, beyond, way beyond what he had, but better than what this engine comes with standard. So what we've done is we've gone to larger head studs. So you can see the size of this head stud compared to the factory ones, which is here. So if you can hold them side by side, you can see just how big a difference it is in there. And then as part of that upgrade, he also opted for closed decking the original block. And this is what you can see here. And this is the CNC assembled components that are then mechanically interference fit into the galleries which is also CNC machined and it's a press fit and then it's fully decked but you'll also say well what are these little liners here well what that is is actually a cast iron insert because when you close deck these blocks the block goes out of round because you've got an interference fit in different locations and then to give you the right piston to bore clearance we don't want to waste a brand new set of pistons we want to reuse them so we overbore the uh, the the um, the new block and oh the new liner and then put this liner in so this part here is the original parent material of the block this part here is the new insert for the closed decking assembly which gives us a much bigger surface area from a head gasket point of view which improves the durability under high boost and high load, but also gives us a lot more strength around the actual cylinder liners themselves. And this part here is the cast iron insert, so we can then get the right piston to bore clearance, reuse original factory pistons. So when all this goes back together, it's gonna to be a lot tougher, a lot more durable. We can put the original heads back on, which are the early model GC8. It's really good head on those engines. And this is a non-variable cam engine. So we'll put it all back together, show you what it looks like and what to expect. But this is a really good example of what you need to know about if you're looking for different designs. This is old school, this is new school, and anything in between, generally you can make your own diagnosis of that. So I hope this um, has explained even more detail what to expect when it comes to doing a closed deck upgrade with the two litre forged piston engine. Of course, you can do it with the 2.5. Check out our other videos where we've spoken about that as well. And we'll give you another video update when we start assembling this engine. But for now, um, have a comment. Make some notes at the bottom of this video. I'd love to hear from you. Um, share it around. Subscribe. Give us some feedback. And um, we'll give you another update soon. So no matter where you are in the world, I'm Brett Middleton. You can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Remember to check out our website. Have a great day.